Welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to use swept base and swept cut. Okay, let's first make a new part. Let's go to the front plane. Click on it and sketch. And let's start with a sketch. I will use the rectangle tool first. Go to the origin and click. I'm gonna give some dimensions to the rectangle. Let's make this one 200. Make this one 100. And I will show you another tool. It's called Sketch Fillet. I wanna fill at these corners of the rectangle so you can uh, click on the corners and then it will give the rectangle a fillet. Let's make this a fillet of 15. Okay. I wanna cut this this part over here what you can do is make a small uh, center line right here and then cut it and this is the path I want to follow with my swept base so we are done with the path right now and we will continue with the profile so exit this sketch um, I want to start here with um, the profile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert a plane. Uh, you go to reference geometry plane then you select this point and we need another reference and that will be the top plane and then we have uh, a plane right here on this point um, and then press OK then I want to sketch on this plane so click on the plane let's click on sketch then normal to so this point is exactly on the plane this point right here um, we're gonna sketch our profile right now I'm gonna use a circle for it you can you can even draw it draw the circle right here um, and then use click on the click on the midpoint of the circle uh, hold shift click on this point of the path and click on coincidence that they are together each other I'm gonna give a dimension to the circle let's get this a dimension of 20 and then we have our two sketches exit the sketch um, sometimes it's a bit annoying to see the plane so you can um, while standing on the plane you can hit the right click of your mouse and then you can um, select height and if you need the plane you, of course you can, uh, you can show it again but in some cases it, it's a bit annoying to see the plane all the time so right now we're gonna use swept base so we have our profile and we have our guide guideline our path and then we're gonna click on OK and what I also wanna do is I wanna create a cut along this path from the inside 
So what we can do is go to the front plane, sketch, and then we can use this feature called intersection curve because um, all the surface you click on will be projected on on the the plane you're you're sketching on and it will be projected with with lines so I wanna have a line along this this curve right here okay so select this one this one this one and these click OK and now we have lines along along the the object. I only want to have a line in the inside so we can use trim entities to trim away the entities on the outside of the object and then we click OK we exit the sketch and we are gonna do the same Uh, we, yeah, like I said before, we can use this this plane again to sketch on it because it's the same plane we used for for the other one. Okay, let's uh, use a circle again. Make sure it is connected with the path, and a pair relation is is the, the best relation and then it's always pierced it's always connected with the path then leave the sketch and now we have a profile and a path again and we are gonna use the swept cut this time so the profile is already selected now only the path And now we have a swept base and a swept cut. Okay, thank you for watching. This was the fourth tutorial. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to do a loft.